Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled or being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final really quickly. There is someone, you watch my channel and you hit the fact that I said that prayer every video. We are going to need you to turn up the video, the volume, because you need to hear that prayer. More than likely, you are the one trying to steal from other people so that prayer is dismantling all of your plans against on um, against a light worker so as we said so shall it be we cannot help you you're gonna have to fix that but we're gonna have to say our prayers around here make our petitions if you don't know i'm a spiritual judge and i make my judgment before i do my cases so that's what that is, if you didn't know, okay? So before something's even happening, I've already made judgment in the situation. And maybe you are aware of that and it pisses you off, but honey, I can't help you with that. You're going to have to work on that. Anyways, folks, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. We have a kink of cups in the reverse that maybe going through some type of legal issue. Something is being exposed about what a person did to either betray some type of offer from being made to someone. This man may have lied in the court system or temper with someone's image. Uh, this is someone that lies a lot. Let's see. It's, <laughs> and sisters, you started. You started. You started. Someone is upset because something is being balanced out. This may, sit, this may be someone's ex, by the way. And this is someone that's been working really hard behind the scenes to make sure that you do not receive any love offers. This is someone that lies, steals, cheats, more than likely is going through conflict because there's some type of offer coming towards you, offers, offer a friendship that's going to lead to some type of happiness, joy, fulfillment, ultimate fulfillment in life. And this person is doing everything behind the scenes to stop this offer, this love, this collaboration, this abundance from taking place. Or so baby, the universe says it is a yes, it's taking place. So this could be someone's ex, someone that's emotionally imbalanced, or this could be someone that's a king of cups in the reverse, someone that plays a role that he's not well acquainted with, should not even be acquainted with because he's operating from his low, lower energy, right? What I'm, what I'm feeling is that this is someone's ex that's just doing a little bit too much. Someone may have been trying to bring you some type of legal issues so that you will be trapped in something so that no one will be able to make an offer to you. But baby, this is what you have coming ahead of you very quickly. You are about to be being celebrated out here, hell on a pedestal available for the world to see you celebrate you in some way shape or form maybe you're a master of your craft and you're about to take off there may be a wealthy man that wants to work with you it's kind of keeping this to himself for the time being but in due time things will be balanced out because someone sees you as very disciplined a, a, a high priestess that invests in everything that it is that you want to do, whether you're a man or a woman, they see you as a good investment. So they may want to work with you and help you uh, grow your business. If you have one, whether that's on screen or behind the scenes, they see you as someone who is a wish fulfillment, someone that's wish fulfillment, someone that's a blessing. Someone is hoping that they can work with you and balance something out. You may not know who this person is. And because someone behind the scenes may know that a person want to come together with you, an emperor wants to work with you, they are trying to steal something from you it could be steal a collaboration steal a business steal some type of abundance whatever way they're supposed to be um from you or block it from being given to you so someone is very heartbroken because something is being balanced out they're losing their mind their hearts everything there's a lot of arguments going on behind the scenes about two people coming together there's also a lot of confusion and conflict disappointment everything because a community is coming to an end they're going for the from the four of wands which is typically like a very fruitful com community maybe they were abundant at one point but they're going into the five of pentacles right um because there's something a company did a group of people a family did together that they've been trying to hide they may have been trying to dismantle someone else's ten of pentacles to have their stay in place or they were trying to benefit 
benefit off of your work. So maybe stealing your intellectual properties, maybe stealing your money, your finances, something in order for them to thrive. But as you can see, it's the end of the road for them. These people are living in fear because they don't know what it is that's about to go on. This is something they've been invested in for the for a long time. Um, for the past two months now, when I do my reading, there have been consistently three cards coming out. There is the Ten of uh, Swords coming out, the Eight of Swords, and then there is the Wheel of Fortune. Something is absolutely being balanced out, and there's something a group of people have been working on for a long time to carry out, trying to go for it still, but they're not going to be able to succeed in this. Something is being dismantled by the universe, the Most High. As you can see, we have the Death out here, which is a major arcana. We have the Moon, also another major arcana. The Justice, also another major arcana. So that means that the universe is absolutely all over a situation. These people may feel like they have the upper hand, but they do not have the upper hand. There's something about a king of cups in the reverse. Someone just refuses to heal. Maybe he's been out here pretending to be someone in the upright, but he's not. There's something he's been doing that's been, that has been exposed. Okay. He's still trying to pretend like he's not into voodoo who, or who do she do code do they do. We don't do because we are light workers. We don't have to do any type of manipulations, compete with anyone for what it is that belongs to us. The universe always sets it up in a way where you receive what it is that's yours, what it is that's yours. You will receive that in due time. Yeah, balance is being brought in this connection, in this collaboration. You are having that new beginning. There's someone out here that's been doing a lot of temp uh, energy tempering where they don't want people getting their downloads. It's like they're sending a lot of conflicting energy. I, I said conflicting. They're sending a lot of conflicting energy so that you don't see what it is they're doing behind the scene. They don't want people to go within and see the truth. They may not even want you to feel like you're going to be receiving any type of love offer. They may be trying to send you mental conflict as well so that when you are giving some type of love offer that you turn the person down and miss out on your new beginning. But you're not going to. You're going to pay attention. Trust your intuition. It's what you're... Uh, ancestors are telling you because you will be abundant in your new beginning you are being advised to go for exactly what it is that you want to go for in life and it is going to lead to victory for you your enemies are going to be sitting behind angry envious jealous as heck because you're having wish fulfillment while their lives are at a standstill going through endings repeatedly and they may still be out here pretending to be the better option but baby we know you're just gaslighting the truth is out baby but what a group of friends uh, friends have been doing to temper with balance being brought into a situation all these people do is think about ways on how they can misuse words to defame other people there's a king queen of swords queen of wands queen of pentacles living in fear behind the scenes because they've been causing a lot of illusions bribing people paying people to take someone out or block two people from meeting that they know are supposed to be together these are two people that are absolutely innovative very confident within themselves there is some type of communication that should have should have taken place that you should have received but there's someone behind the scenes that's been manipulating blocking communications and things like that this could be a queen of swords that's been doing something when it comes to manipulation okay she's also unhappy because you're someone that keeps going going is that she's done everything to dismantle your strength and she's disappointed because what well, you keep moving forward you already know the truth someone does not want you trusting your intuition to have this new beginning to and she doesn't know what it is you're planning that like someone wants to put you to rest they're still determined to take you out but they can't because the universe again is balancing something out we have to cherry it out here something is being balanced out for you so there's really not much i'm telling you something is being balanced out Okay, someone is planning because whoever you're supposed to be working with or coming together with, whether this is in love or this is in business, uh, whatever it is, this is someone that plans everything. Someone is very logical. So they're planning on how they, they can come towards you. Rest assured as well, there's also a uh, rest assured. Be alarmed as well or be alert. I don't want you to live in fear because this is the kind of energy these negative people need us to be in so that they can have victory over us. But just be aware that there is a narcissist behind the scenes that is trying to figure out how they can defeat you but they won't be able to i'm telling you it's a disappointment for them they will not be defeating you because this cycle is over you are the queen of cups speaking your truth living your truth and your truth is leading to some type of balance some type of victory 
forward movement for you, celebration for you, clarity in the situation. People may want to give you some type of friendship offer now that they know the truth. Want to work with you, balance something out because some type of truth has been illuminated to these people. Also to an empress energy that was very determined to take you out before that didn't even know why it is she was against you. Maybe someone thought you took something from them or they felt entitled to something that belonged to you. But the universe is calling judgment in here. There is some type of epiphany going on. There's, there could be a masculine having some type of epiphany about you. Maybe they're going from hating you, disliking you, to admiring your strength, your tenacity. Maybe now they're choosing to wanting to be with you, but there's some type of stillmate going on because this person betrayed you heavily. So there is going to be no reconciliation between you and these, these two. Maybe closure, whatever, but it's nothing where it's that you two are going to be coming together because this is someone that's still in their toxic energy, dark energy, still out here wanting to control people, wanting to be uh, the... I don't know what you call it. Those men that are very much into themselves. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Oh gosh, what is the word? What is the word? What is the word? Uh, 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 uh. Don Juan, one of those. This is what he is. Okay, someone just has never learned how to grow up, and I don't think they realize that they're of a particular age, and they're still out here acting immature, still chasing women around and partying. Also, there's some type of message I'm being told to give to a community that's been partying a lot. You all have been partying a lot. I don't know what it is you're celebrating, but there's something that a, a woman in an institution or a couple of people within an institution has have set up strategically. They have you all partying a lot so that they can distract you from seeing the truth about what is going on or to block you from leaving a toxic situation. So this is why they are helping you all keep indulging in this low vibrational energy. You want to go out to party. You want to go out and have drinks. If you are a part of that community, you will reflect and look back at how much you all have been partying lately, right? You've been going out to eat, party, going, I don't know where it is you go. It was about to say clubbing, but that's very cliche and very typical to come out. But you all may have been going out a lot together, just throwing these wild parties, maybe at mansions or whatever this is. But it's being done strategically by someone within that institution to block you all from what is really going on. Something is over, Something is over and this is what they're hiding. They don't want you two to know that two people will be coming together, that there's nothing they can do to block these two from coming out because justice has already been called in this situation. Something is being balanced out like it was supposed to. So there's someone within an institution that has been distracting people with low vibrational activity, giving them drinks, alcohol, and all of that. Is that basically... Oh, you like doing this? Here it is. We'll give you more of it. You like drugs? Here it is. You can have that. You like a lot of women? Here you go. Endless opportunities. You like a lot of men? Here you go. Lots of options for you. Like someone is keeping you all distracted from seeing the truth. And they're also trying to trap you within an institution so that you never leave. This could be for a specific masculine. Um, but you may want to open your eyes and see the truth. Start doing the work to heal because you're going to be trapped in an institution or community or with a group of people for a long time. If you don't wake up, you may want to. This is the truth being illuminated to you. Maybe you didn't know, but now you know. Relieve yourself. Remove yourself. I'm telling you, remove yourself because these people are working on how to come in and destroy you. There could be a couple that's been working really hard, plotting against someone on how they can take them out. Keep two people separate. Keep them living in fear. It's all an illusion because they're not getting something that they thought they would. It's a couple that's been working really hard. They may be tempering with things in the justice system. Uh, to force something to stay the way it is. But this is coming to an end. Whatever this relationship is, it is over. There is some type of relationship that has ended between two people. Also, what I'm also uh, picking up on is there's a woman out here that did a little bit too much, went above and beyond doing witchcraft, voodoo, witch rituals, dark magic, all kinds of stuff to get a man, to basically get a man to leave whoever he was with. Not that she has the man, she don't want the man. Baby, that ain't how it works. You got to tick the fruits of your labor. You work really hard to get that man, you're going to have to keep him. As far as we in the light working community, we don't take nothing, no, we don't take uh, excess back over here, over there, wherever our fellow light workers are. No, 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 no. We don't go back to the past like that until source absolutely deems it so. No, 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 no. The X is not an option. Ain't nothing back there for us to see because we already know what is back there. So those X's can keep... 
picking, trying to figure out what it is we got going on. They said, what does she have going on? What does he have going on? When are they getting together? I got to go in and say something. Say something so I can block this new beginning for them. I don't want them getting married. I don't want them moving forward, having children, having friends and things like that. I don't want them focusing on their dreams, speaking truth and all of that. I need them to stay single because I effed up royally and went with a Jesse Bell that don't got nothing going on that has been pretending to be the actual empress or the, the uh, high priestess. Now I'm finding out they're a fool. They're out here living in fear because I can see the illusions. Everybody sees the illusions. Now they don't have options on what it is they can do. No one wants to make any offers to them. They're disappointed because we see the truth. So now I'm trying to find the strength after all the embarrassment I done brought on myself. And now I'm going to go back to the high priestess and tell them how much I admire their strength, their confidence, and their intellect. And I'm going to ask them if they can heal me, blah, 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 blah. And we can seal onto karma waters. And their empress is sitting there looking at him. Do that subtle look. You know how the empresses be. Even when you're pissing us off, we just look at you, bombastic side at you, and keep it pushing. Exactly. Maintain her energy. She said, you know what? I'm going to go somewhere else with my friendship. I don't got time for your BS. I don't got time for you, your mammy, your daddy, or whoever else today, tomorrow, or any day. We're going to need you to skip to my little down karmic veil, back to darkness, until you decide to face your fears and learn to live in your truth. But someone now knows that you're genuine and they want to have a new beginning with you. It ain't so. It ain't so. It could be this king of cups out here. Nobody got time for this nonsense. This is possibly someone that sat back and let people do anything to you. And yeah, they sat back and let people do anything to you. Cause you blockages. Disappoint you. Block relationships. Offers. Cause endings in your lives and things like that. And try to make it look like it was some type of natural disaster. Now this person is trapped in some type of situation they don't want to be in anymore. So they're thinking about how they can come towards you, right? To confuse you even more because they know you and them are a big fat no, the universe said this ain't happening because you have too much clarity on what this person has been doing to block your hope, block your faith, block you from being hopeful, stepping out on faith in life, having new beginnings and things like that, not wanting you to take charge of your life, not wanting you to connect with your emperor or empress, whoever you are, trying to dismantle your strength, your discipline and things like that, just trying to end everything for you. And why they were doing it? They wanted to make it look natural. Like, hey, see, I told you this person don't like to work. But the whole time they're tempering with your work behind the scenes, tempering with systems and things like that because someone, was, someone is very desperate. Uh, uh, for people to see you as a negative energy, someone that's very lazy, incompetent, unreliable, undisciplined. This is how he wants people to see you, but you keep showing up in this energy. And that's why someone is choosing to see you as wish fulfillment. You could be have an emperor out here that's single as heck, but very content in life and may want to come in and give you a solid offer so you two can move together. But you best believe that narcissist of yours is watching from behind the scenes, trying to figure out how he can com block this communication from coming into you. But baby, whoever it is that wants to come in and give you their offer, they're just as determined, very generous, and they're figuring out a way on how they can meet with you baby and give you this goddamn offer so that you can celebrate and have your new beginning in abundance B baby get go where you are supposed to be head of an institution taking charge of your life making the decisions you need to make to balance things out baby girl baby boy you don't got time to be worrying about these this nonsense exes haters baby you need these kind of people in your life they need to be in your life for motivation. Stop worrying about these people. I'm telling you, you need these kind of people in your life, okay? Because if you weren't this, they wouldn't be coming after you. You know robbers don't, don't uh, rob empty houses. You're overflowing. That's why they're coming after you. You may have a king of pentacles out here that has a lot of emotions for you. I don't know if you know who this person is, but he's moving on to karma waters in his life. Maybe healing, doing the healing work behind the scenes. Yeah, he's doing some type of healing work behind the scenes, becoming, I guess, maybe like a sage, a shaman of his own, in his own liking, to his own respect. Like someone is doing the work behind the scenes. And this is causing some type of tower for our community because they've been working so hard to cause you blockages and kind of confusion, conflicting people about you 
you and things like that and now they're unhappy because you and this person will still be meeting in divine timing per the universe's requirements so that you two can have this new beginning and go for the things you want which you will be abundant someone is going to help you balance something out and you are going to help them balance something out oftentimes the mistake people people make is that they feel like because one person has more money in a situation, one person has more finance in the situation, that they're the one contributing everything in the relationship. No, there's some type of healing, some type of idea or something you're going to contribute to a king of pentacles that he has never had before in his life so you two will be balancing each other out so yeah absolutely you may be helping this person balance their mind out le learn how to listen to their intuition think things through not let people think for them because there could be a masculine out here that's conflicted a lot in his head a lot stuck in his head and when you come into the situation he's going to go from conflict to balance comfort stability assertiveness uh self-master right and he will be what heal leaving behind all the toxic ways and things like that someone may be uh there may be someone behind the scenes not this king of pentacles but there may be like some negative energy around him that's very angry hates the fact that you're so strong you don't care about being alone because you already know who you are you know what you bring to the table absolutely Right, you're someone very gifted, very nurturing, kind hearted, in touch with the universe, direct connection to source. So, you don't have to uh, uh, have your hand out to people, you simply turn to the universe to balance things out for you, protect your investments, help you figure things out. And a lot of the time, what they'll tell you is just stay disciplined and keep going. We know where we're taking you, and you just got to trust them to help you see something through, right. So that you can move on with your life and have your victory there's a king of swords here i don't know if someone is going to a king of swords to lie to them or something to block someone's uh new beginning because this is something a group of people or someone has been doing for a long time is communicating or trying to communicate with a king of swords to block the truth from coming out is that we can't afford for this person to be seen we can't afford for this person to be heard we can't afford for this person to be taken seriously if they are we're all going to be coming to an end oh baby it's the end it's the end someone may be passing away you are about to to be weighed down and burdened and this is justice and balance in this situation nobody cares how afraid you are are about what a king of swords is going to do to balance something out he's planning baby to walk away and take charge of his life he don't care you what it is you all have going on okay go on and move on with your lives okay these light workers are trying to move on with their lives and you're out here trying to control them control their resources when you don't have a mother effing place to be doing that focus on yourself focus on your pentacles your craft find a hobby that you are passionate about and grow that learn it perfect it skill it and move on with your life and the universe just may bless you and help you turn it into a business that can be very prosperous for you but i promise you you being out here trying to steal from someone else or taking from other people is never going to end good for you okay that is a recipe for disaster you may think it's wish fulfillment for the time being and then you end up finding out you trapped yourself in something that's not returning nothing on investment and it's nothing but a tower because the most high always knew what it is you were doing and you are under judgment for what it is you've been doing with your karmic group of friends out here celebrating other people's downfall listen i was watching oh that brings something to mind i was watching an african movie with my kids last night and this uh older gentleman was interested in a younger woman but he had a maid that was living in his house with him taking care of his home and she was obsessed with this older man but he didn't see her that way she was so desperate to get with this man that she at one point she has a uniform that she's supposed to wear two two sets right she went and changed the uniform wore this little skimpy dress went in front of this man to clean his house right in the living room time to wipe down the tv that didn't need no wiping bending her behind in front of him so that she, he could see up her dress lord just embarrassing herself just embarrassing women out here it's a movie it's a movie folks it's a movie but stick with me there's a lesson to learn here anyway so he checked her he said where are your uniforms where's your uniform she she said i washed day and he said where's the other set she said i watched that too coincidentally anyway so he checks her he tells her never again should you ever try this in my house you should always have your uniform on right 
So it goes to a point in the movie where the man ends up getting with the younger girl, which there was uh, something about that that made me feel a little iffy about it. But it ends up to the point where he ends up with a younger person that he wanted to be with. Now the maid, uh, not the younger girl, she's naive, just dumb as can be. This man that she's with, the, the, the older man, he's wealthy, whatever. He put, puts her in a really good position in life. And instead of her appreciating that, she goes back to some rock rats in the ghetto that don't got nothing going on for himself. And she gets pregnant by him when the older man gives her money. She takes the money and sends it to that rug rat in the ghetto that don't got nothing going on and she doesn't know that he's using her for her money uh well anyway she ends up pregnant but what the, the part of this story that stood out to me is that when she ended up pregnant the maid in the house was dancing because she was so sure that this older man was going to kick this younger girl out and she was now going to have her chance with the older man well the older man and the younger girl ended up reconciling and he said he understood baby this is a movie this is a movie folks let's remember this is a movie because ain't no way ever in a million years he said it's, it's a movie folks Anyways, he and the younger girl, they end up reconciling. He says that he understands she's young-minded. She's going to do stupid things. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Blah, 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 blah. But what tipped me off is that that housemaid was celebrating someone else's downfall, not knowing not knowing the whole time. Like, what, baby? Ain't nothing going to be taken from that girl. Like, you're out here celebrating. And someone in the movie... Her, her, uh, a call actor to her look at you so broken and destroyed that you're out here celebrating someone else's downfall you should know that there's something wrong with you and she went back to dancing only to end up looking dumb at the end because the older man and their younger girl still ended up together okay now i'm not telling you young folks to go out here and take advantage of these older men that they're still going to take you back girl that's a movie and that's not how it plays if you want to be with an older man and he's of respect He's a gentleman and he's trying to do right by you. Then by all means, you want to be in that situation, do right by them. Don't go out there using them for their money. But the lesson was that there was a dumb girl there celebrating someone's downfall, not knowing that the universe had a whole different plan for that girl. Okay. But that's how it goes sometimes in these types of communities. They'll, they'll celebrate your downfall not knowing that they're, they're in a situation they don't even want to be in. Like she was in the movie talking to the chauffeur like he was beneath her. And he, he really liked her. He really loved her. And then which is another life lesson too. Sometimes the person you, you should be with is right in front of you. The love you've been looking for the whole time is right in front of you. But you are turning them down because you want the big fish. The big fish that don't want nothing to do with you because you're mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. They want someone that's kind-hearted, nurturing, got the strength to go for the things they want. Even when things don't go their way, they know why things are going to be balanced out. And people can do whatever they want, but the universe will always secure them. Okay, so they're always... Uh, take on that fight that battle that people bring to them and what stay focused and keep moving on so that things can be balanced with them so th 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 there's a lesson to learn in there is focus on yourself stop trying to take from people and thinking you're going to get away with something you ain't getting away with nothing it's nothing you're getting away with okay whoever this emperor is that you all are trying to block confused baby he ain't confused you are maybe more confused than you don't realize it. That man knows a little bit too much. I'm telling you, he knows a little bit too much about where he's supposed to be. So I don't know what it is you're out here thinking you're doing. You ain't doing nothing. This is about to be this emperor, his love interest, or whoever it is to him. You ain't stopping a mother effing thing. I am doing my best to not use any profanity on here. I don't even know why I started using profanity on my platform. Um, but... You are, I don't curse like that in real life. I didn't grow up in a household that curses or anything like that. But there's something where it says someone has been doing some type of sorcery behind the scenes. It's like they want someone to see. I don't know if there's someone that watches me and someone wants to cloud their judgments. I told you she's classless or like something is going on. I typically don't curse like that. I'm very like someone that's just straightforward and direct with my words. I don't care what it is you feel about it. It's not that I'm saying it to hurt your feelings. It's like I just feel like I need to tell you what it is. A is A, B is B. I'm kind of black and white. And, and I know it bothers a lot of people that have come across me. But 
hey, at the end of the day, later on in life, you'll appreciate that black and white personality because you don't have to wonder what it is I feel about you. You don't got to wonder if I like you or not. Baby, you'll be content knowing that Cynthia told you exactly what it is. You'll know when you when you come across Cynthia, she likes me and she don't like me. She fools with me. She don't fool with me. It ain't no in between. And it ain't no shaky shaky for me. I don't fool around like that. But that profanity thing, honey, we're cutting it out on my platform. I don't be cursing like that in real life. I'm chill, relax, keeps to myself, mind my business. Say my ABCs and my one, two, threes, you know, because <clears throat> I know there's somebody that watches my platform and I, I always hear them saying that she's uneducated. Baby, I ain't uneducated. I'm not uneducated, baby. I, ain't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got the institutional education and the life education, baby. Uh, <laughs> educated, baby. Educated. I don't know what you've been talking about, Willis. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Just know I can hear you. When you're a queen of swords in your lower energy. You talk about moi a lot. I be hearing you. She's uneducated. She don't know what she's talking about. Blah, 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 blah. That's not what that means. She don't know what she's doing. Don't take her seriously. Girl, you're exposed out here. People know you full of nonsense. <laughs> but I hear you when you're talking about me. Anyways, let's get back to this re. Let's get back to this re. There's some type of clarity out about a betrayal that has been going on. People may be taking some type of impulsive action to come in and block something for you. Maybe your Ten of Pentacles, they want to bring it to an end. But this family's Ten of Pentacles is really what's being brought to an end. Like, it's the end of this. Something has been stopped blocked because these people are nothing but cunning malicious calculative and very selfish these are people that don't care all they do is compete with one another there's a lot of competition going on within a family dynamic okay this is i don't know if this is like a blood family or this is an institution typically the ten of pentacles has to do with like family matters business legacy institutions and things like that as well so there could be some type of competition because i see this five of swords out here which has to do with ego and wanting to defeat other people being selfish betrayals and things like that it is a lot going on in here but while they're fighting amongst each other they're also so focused on you whoever you are because whatever it is they're trying to take from you they're not receiving some of these people may be really disappointed feeling yeah i said disappointed split my deck and it's on the five of cups these people are very disappointed and embarrassed out here because something is still being balanced out they're gonna have to find a new path because whatever it is they were trying to take from you is not uh, theirs someone may have been pretending like something belongs to them it does not belong to them um and there's an awareness of that people may know now how it is someone got something and it was through the means of destroying someone else or trying to destroy someone else people know the truth clarity about how someone took some type of action to block you they try to destroy you at least, okay? Block your options, block your finances, your abundance. If you were supposed to be receiving some type of offer, someone took some type of reckless action to put an end to that, and someone may have fallen ill. You may even still have another uh, narcissist that's still out here plotting against you to cause more blockages, and the universe is going to take care of the whole group on site. This is them. This is what they're plotting, and someone uses their words behind the scenes as well. Someone may have lied or played some type of role during a negotiation. They made it seem like they were doing or uh, acting in favor of whatever everyone else was uh, voting. Like someone used some type of very uh, uh, cunning way of negotiating during a meeting. And maybe people didn't pick up on it. And I think I've warned you all. There's a community that watches me. Uh, there are people that watches me and then report back to a community. There's a queen of swords that's very cunning with the way she uses words and maybe there's something she's done now that has exposed her exposed who she is this is someone that does nothing but steal lie destroy someone's very cunning and all she does is figure out ways on how she can cause stillness and blockages make people's life as complicated as possible but this is what's exactly leading to some type of natural disaster happening in her abundance as well if this is someone that was fruitful before that's the end of that Queen of Swords, this is the end of the road for uh, you, okay? I don't know if you've been working with uh, King of Wands behind the scenes. That's the end of that. 
uh relationship as well someone may be standing their ground towards you now they don't want to talk to you maybe because they know that you're someone very malicious and everything you do you do there's ulterior motive to it but anyways it's king of cups reverse is still out here hiding maybe he's hiding his emotions maybe hiding the fact that uh he wants to partner up with someone but that's not an option maybe because he did something in the past that's not so kind uh it's not so honorable but there's something this man is hiding he may be living in a lot of fear as well of two people coming together but they will come together in due time this is what the universe has determined these two people are going to be coming together to put an end to all of the lies and betrayals and things like that it's going to bring, bring clarity in a situation People may be heartbroken because they betray or cause a lot of illusions uh, to the truth. That people work together, collaborated together to block the truth from coming out, to block clarity. But it's out here front and center. Yeah, it is in the center of the spread. So the truth is out here. Everything else is around the truth, but the truth is sticking out like a sore thumb. Just letting them know, nah, we don't got time for that nonsense no more. It's time, it's time, it's time. Okay, it's a lot going on here. A lot of arguing, fighting, crying, a lot of emotions because these people are going through karma. Instead of you going through what it is they've been planning for you, it's what they're going through. People are having some type of hard time in life. Ten swords in their backs, just like they threw ten swords in your backs, and or just like they tried to throw ten swords in you all's backs. They're going through exactly that. It is how it was always orchestrated to be by the universe. Well, all of these major arcanas out here, you know the universe is all over this and has been all over it. You did what they told you per the situation. Uh, every time they told you to do something, you went ahead and did that. If you were someone that was emotionally unstable before, the universe forced you or not forced you they don't force us to do anything they encourage us to do things they encourage you to go through that dark night of the soul so that you could come out balanced loving kind-hearted and able to manifest the realities that you want for yourself so that you could let go of all of these emotional imbalances mental imbalances uh have a little bit more control of your emotions and bring an end to dealing with people that were out here misleading you, false people, false prophets, basically. Someone has been surrounded by a lot of people that don't have any type of genuine intentions for them, been lying about them. Someone pretends to be in the upright. There could be like some type of false religious figure that's being exposed, has been humble, going through endings because they did something really horrendous to block two people from coming together and they never thought that the truth would come out. Baby, the truth is out. I'm telling you, it's front and center. So there's some type of false religious character going through our ending. Someone is going through karma, okay? You two will be coming together, having this new beginning, taking charge of life and going for the things you want. And you two working together is going to bring an end to these narcissists trying to defeat you, destroy you, and things like that. Someone may be sick passing away is what I'm getting from here. But there's also a narcissist, some entitled little brat that's plotting someone's ending, maybe planning to uh, have you on a live, have you fall ill, and it's going to be through rituals that are not working. The rituals are backfiring. More than likely, it's someone that's watching our platform, sending a lot of neg negative energies, not wanting us to say our prayers and petitions on here because everything we say is backfiring. Everything they do is backfiring to them. Yeah, and I'm telling you, it's backfiring, okay? All of their plans, this person here, someone is more than likely either about to pass away or is about to fall ill with this death and the four of swords out here. Someone's plan, everything they've planned for you is the end of the road. It's not coming into fruition. Like the universe is dead in that situation. It's like, oh, that's cute. You're coming up with a new plan, done. An end to plans. Everything they're planning before they even come up with it. The universe is saying, uh-uh, that's cute. We don't got time for that. It's over. It's over now. We know you think we know you think that you can make it, but the storm is over now because they're wanting to consistently keep bringing you all kinds of storms, emotional storms, uh, uh, um, mental, all kinds of, just lifelong. Something in here, too, that's a masculine there is someone that's been advising you that you know you should not be listening to, but you still listen to them. And that is possibly why you're going through some type of ending too. We can't help you. Okay, we cannot help you. I don't know what the heck it is you did or who you've been taking advice from. There's a false religious, a false someone, in, someone that pretends to be really 
a, a, a ethical principle, someone that pretends to be a, a person that acts out of integrity. They're not none of those things. Okay. Someone pretends to be like wise, knowing they're not wise, knowing they're lying to you. They're misleading you. They're trying to block your abundance, all of that. But it's up to you. Dang, this king of cups here, baby. You're about to be down, down, down. You're about to be ill. You're about to be sick. Uh, uh, about to be sick, way down and burning, looking for someone to take care of you, but there ain't going to be nobody around to take care of you. Because your karma is what you're going through, what you try to. Oh, he's about to be sick, looking for someone to heal him. And guess who he's coming to? You collective. <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. He's trying to figure out on how he can approach you. Dang. Uh, uh. Nah. You tried it, you tried it. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. He is so afraid. He's so afraid. Thank you for watching. It's dead, bless. <laughs> I see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.